Cases of Kwe assured Nigerians that in its conversion of all voting points, none will be moved or transferred from one local government area to another, as all will remain where they are. He recalled that for over 20 years, the commission had remained static as the initial formation was meant for only 50 million people. And now, with the population increase, the commission deems it fit to meet up with the changing times. And no new polling units has been created in the country. And this has led to overcrowding at the level of the pooling units. It has also led to violence at the level of the pooling units. It has led to poor voter turnout at the pooling units and also led to poor electoral services at the pooling units. That is why sometimes you have a pooling unit with, over a, with a registered voter population of 15,000. And on election day, no election takes place in some of those places. He for that throws more light on the Commission's activities. And that is why this Commission went into the 2019 general election with over 57,000 voting points attached to the mother pooling unit. So we want to convert those voting points into full-fledged pooling units and then total those pooling units to underserved and unserved areas. Fessus Okoyo said the continuous voter registration will commence after the successful implementation of the voting points to polling units, which will allow those that attain the mandatory age to get registered and also to reduce distance. We've consulted the growth spectrum of the Nigerian people. We've consulted with um, political parties. They have endorsed the idea. We have consulted with the media. The media has endorsed the idea. We have consulted with civil society groups and organizations. They have endorsed it. We have consulted with professional groups and labor unions. They have endorsed it. He said the commission will also train its press corps to be in tune with all the commission's processes and procedures. This is Roland Longs.